The only thing people remember is this camera. That's a lot of them. I'm not going to hurt them. Yeah. Look, I've never driven into that damage bit. I don't know, it's like crawling in it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Trade Season. Back to this, all right? Now, this we've done before, and I said I was gonna Harold die it. There it is, and I said it didn't work, so we're gonna try number two. Now, I'm gonna try and clean it up and glue it back, so I don't want it to get wet again with nothing. Screwdriver just to locate it. And it sits in just yeah. like that. This bit here. We have another spring just here that goes on just like that. Or is it like that? I think it might be like that because it kind of sits inside of it. I'm not sure which way this spring goes if I'm honest. So this is why you try and not to let these things just go crazy where they pop out. Okay, start again. Take this spring out. We check where it sits. Perfect. It sits in the middle there. So we're gonna assume that's how it goes. So it doesn't sit on there. Okay? So we're gonna put that in like that. this seal this is a rubber seal we can see where it sits in there to seal it just like that sort of thing so what we do get our spring back again get a nice screwdriver locate it in the center of there drop it down okay we get our top bit that hasn't got a hole in it. Can we hold it with our pliers? Because we want it to sit straight on top of the spring. We drop that in there. Can you see what we have there? And we get our larger spring. We'll put that on top of there. Uh, let me try and find it. This is our top. That went flying, so another way to figure it out is that spring sits flush inside there. Okay, so we know that goes in like that and not like that. Furthermore, when we took it out, we saw these grooves. So we'll put that in like that, put that on there like that, and we we'll press it down. And you see the grooves? sort of locks in let me just hold that on there you see the cut out there there and just there okay so what you do line it up press it down whichever when it slides in there you go once you get it in you twist it around clockwise Make sure all the corners get in. Can't get it very well with like that, so we're gonna use this one. We hold it, press, and turn. And there it is, it's locked in. So now what we could do is get a bit of emery paper, clean that off, clean that off, and glue that back in there. So that's what we're gonna do. And hopefully we'll have a working cap again. But with this time we're going to clean it properly. The last time we didn't because it was still wet when we put it on. I'm going to carry on cleaning this. This is what I'm going to use, my Harrow Dye. So what I've got to do, get a bit of this 50-50, put it on something, mix it all up. And clean this up like I say and go around the outer edge. 
plonk it back in there and leave it as long as possible and that will be our backup now this is just a piece of my shed so I'm just going to use that to mix up the things on so I've got a bit of that no you don't need a lot there you go that's it put that lid back on a bit of that coming out the noise now too come on there you go all right we'll get our screwdriver and we just mix that in together till it both change to the same color That'll do. Don't need to mix it any longer than that. Alright, so while that's doing its thing, let me just show you where we are. I cleaned up the cap the best I could using the same screwdriver there. And you can see I've kind of roughed it up as I'm going along in it. And the way it was hard to come off, it tells me that it is holding to the cap. Alright, on here, I didn't have no hemorrhage paper or anything, so I just used, see that the jagged edge of there? I just use that as a file and go around and clean it all up so now that is nice and dry and that is mixed up on here if you look I don't know if you'll be able to see it's got like an edge underneath there can you see that edge just underneath there okay and on here we have a lip there's a lip so all we got to do, we got to press that in, line it up, and press it till it clips in. So what we're going to do now, get our glue. So let's get a little drop like that. Around there. So it's kind of gone underneath it. A bit more on that side. See as we're putting our glue on, try not to let it get in between the thread because then it could cause a problem when you're trying to put it back. Alright, that'll do us. So now what we do is get the remaining. second let's get a tissue wipe that off because we want to use our screwdriver as a screwdriver okay get this line it up inside there and we just press it down and you can see one side clip on that have a look inside the cap what we're looking for is just under there you can see i think where the lips it's gone under so it's now locked in and around it so if we do that it is secure just give it another one just to make sure Well, we're happy with that if it wasn't holding it would have fallen off okay so we're just gonna leave that as it is sitting on its back 
and leave it let it dry we should have a brand new cap okay again till next time see you later you're out there robbing people while we pack away Stop doing it. Okay, see you later.